Hello and welcome to another Angle and Direct Quick Buy. And in this Quick Buy, I'm going to talk you through the rig that I use when targeting big bream on these big harsh gravel pits. And without a doubt, most of big bream in here are caught by the carp anglers. Therefore, my approach to targeting these big bream is based on a scaled down carp rig. So the first thing I want to do is I get a coated hook link. I trim off about 12 to 14 inches of hook link. And then I strip off maybe the last four to five inches of coating. I then tie a small overhand loop in the uncoated section of the braid to form the hair. I then take a size eight crank hook and I attach that to the hair KD style. So I do five whips down the shank of the hook and then I pull the hair up towards the eye of the hook and do five more turns down the shank of the hook and then back up and thread it through the eye knotless knot style. The ideal length for the hair is about 20 mil. I then thread an anti-tangle sleeve onto the hook link and then tie a small figure of eight loop. Trim off the tag end, slide the anti-tangle sleeve so it just covers the knot and the finished rig wants to be between seven and eight inches long. Now it's down to hook bait choice and what's worked really well for me in the last couple of seasons are the little CC Moore yellow Northern Special wafters. And the reason they work so well, in my opinion, is they mimic the sweet corn that I use in my bait. The reason I don't use just straight sweet corn is quite often my bait is in position for long periods of time waiting for these big bream to turn up. So they're simply threaded onto the hair with a bait and needle, secured in place with a small boily stop, and I like there to be about 10 millimetre gap between the hook bait and the hook. Now it's time to attach your hook link to your chosen leader. I'm a big fan of the Fox Submerged leader. It's kind of a leadless lead core and those leaders are very important because nearly all my big bream fishing is on the top of gravel bars and these gravel bars are quite often covered in things like zebra mussels. So that protects that last meter of line against any nasty stuff that might be growing on top of that bar. At the end of the leader, there's a quick change swivel. I'm a big fan of these. There's two reasons I like them. It's obviously a real quick, easy way to change a hook link if it gets damaged. And if I am fortunate enough to catch a bream, once it's in the net, I can disconnect the hook link, leave the rod by the lake and carry the bream safely to the unhooking mat. Next, it's down to lead choice. And I like to use flat pair leads, generally between two ounce and three ounce, depending on how far out I'm fishing and the conditions as well. Fishing on these big gravel pits is nearly always fairly long range fishing for me. So I place those rigs into position with a bait boat. So there's a generous helping of sweet corn, pellets, boily and boily crumb going to the hopper of the boat. I can lay that rig on top of the free offerings. And the last thing I do is I just nick a PVA mesh bag of boily crumb and pellets to give me that perfect presentation. So there you go, that's my big bream rig for these big gravel pits that's caught me endless double figure bream over the last few seasons. And if you go out there and give it a go, I wish you the best of luck and hope you catch a giant bream.